okay people this is himself and i recently went to watch ready player one and in short i think it's a great movie on first viewing of the trailer i thought it was going to be over cgi'd but the truth is the cgi was absolutely necessary in the telling of the story for those of you who've seen any clips of it, they'll know that there are a huge number of references to 70s, 80s, 90s and noughties pop culture. There's Mortal Kombat, there's Gundam, there's Adam West's era Batman, there's Halo, the list goes on. And it got me thinking, how the hell did the makers manage to get all the licenses to use them? So for those of you who don't know, the movie is based on a comic book by Ernest Klein, and when he published the book, he had no problems, but using them in the film adaptation is a different thing altogether. So how did they pull it off? Well, the big factor in this is Spielberg. I wonder what they call him in Spain, uh, Esteban Spielbergo? But anyway, because of the respect that people have for the guy, the task was so much easier. I think Steven and his team spent years before even a single scene was shot, and securing the permission to that was to, that was to secure the permission to use the copyrighted elements, and apparently they managed to get 80% of what they wanted. One of the ones that, that they missed out on was reference to Blade Runner, and that's because uh, that's because Blade Runner 2049 was in the works at the same time, and instead they decided to use The Shining in its place. Another one that was missed out on was the use of was the use of Ultraman, which features heavily in the book. And there was a legal dispute, so the character was replaced with the Iron Giant. One final thing is that in the book, there's numerous references to some of Spielberg's previous works. But Stephen didn't want to come across as vain and self-obsessed, so he limited those as much as he could. Talk about a humble guy. One thing that I want to say is that parts of the movie which take place in the real world were actually, were actually shot near where I work, and that is Birmingham. Not Columbus, Ohio, not Birmingham in Alabama, but the proper Birmingham in the UK. So that's a personal thing for me. And as a closing note, I recommend this movie to anyone. You don't need to understand all the references to enjoy it, but you'll enjoy it more if you do. And it's a Spielberg movie, so it's bound to be good. So that brings this short video to a close. If you enjoyed this snippet of trivia, then give me a like and subscribe. It really incentivizes me to do more. And I'll see you guys in the future.